Okay, it's been a few weeks now. I've done all the adjustments to my locking and uh, there's no complaints really. Um, I was pretty unhappy in the beginning. I wasn't used to the pedals, the long boards and um, the spring tension was a, is, is a bit of a problem I think. Uh, I like to have a lot of spring tension on my pedals. This one's actually pretty light but it, it works fine. Um, as I mentioned in the other video, I've actually taken the lock nut off the top section of it and it's on maximum. Doubles. Singles. Flat foot. Doubles. There's no complaints with it at all. It's actually pretty fun to play. And uh, as I said, I've had it a few weeks. I've been swapping back and forth between this pedal and my old pedal. And uh, this pedal feels better every time I put it back on. And so does my old pedal. My old pedal feels even better when I put it back on. So it's, uh, I'm a keen surfer. And uh, I've got more than one surfboard. And uh, maybe this should be the same with drums. You have more than one pedal. You get stale or bored, put a new pedal on. It only takes two minutes to put a new pedal on. Jam it for a couple of days put the old one back and that's how I find I, I actually started to like this pedal a lot more. There's no problem with it whatsoever. For its price range, you're looking in the price range of probably an iron cobra chain drive and um, for a direct drive that looks similar to a trick pedal, the beaters are actually uh, they're not too bad at all actually. And, uh, it's got all adjustments, you can adjust the throw, the angle throw, the heart of the pedal independently and um, the one thing problem I did have when I came out of the factory was one of the actual bearings was loose in the in the knuckle joints here in the in the rod connecting rod and I was making a click clacking clack 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 sound all the time and uh, I just got in touch with them they sent me a new part uh, pretty quickly they had no problem just sent me a video of what I was talking about because it's hard to explain and um, they sent me a part out, put the part on, it works perfectly, it's very quiet. As you can see in the spring test, basically identical, there's no lag. Try it again. As I said, I'm using the Roland KD10 tower. I'm not going to put it on sound because it's not really a sound test, it's just a pedal to show you how it works. Um, if you wanted to put it into a single pedal, it takes 30 seconds to take the connecting rod off and connecting it. I've got the actual the hoop mount separate, uh, I haven't put it on because I don't have double kicks. Uh, double actual toms itself and um, I just can't for the price range you can't get better I mean if, if I had a choice is anyone out there that's looking to upgrade their very cheap pedal obviously you start on a very cheap cheap pedal and uh, you upgrade very pretty quickly and you need to know what to buy if money is no problem obviously go for the trick pedals the axis um, the Darwin's if, if you want to expend more, the Charchi copy codes. I mean, uh, there is a difference. There would be a difference. If, if I spent uh, the money on a trick or a, or a Charchi copy toe, I would have to feel a difference. I'd be pretty upset if I spent that type of money and it felt like these pedals. And, uh, and uh, not, that, not that these pedals are bad quality or anything like that. For what you're paying for, you can't complain. You just cannot complain. And, um, That's it. What I would suggest if anyone is getting these pedals is strip them right down and oil everything. I should have done it before and after video, but 
when I try to change the springs, which I tried with in springs, um, you've got to take the whole thing apart to change the spring. As I said, that might be a problem for some people, but I don't think the spring's going to break. But uh, while I did that, I thought, well, I might as well oil every moving part on it. And uh, it does feel a lot better. It, uh, it was definitely wasn't doing this on the swing test when it wasn't all oiled. Uh, it was swinging a lot less and they weren't even, even if I had to try just in the angle of it or whatever. Now that it seems to be, there is no, just no lag, there's no, no difference on it. If you look at it, it doesn't matter how I do it. They swing the same, they finish the same. Uh, and I can assure you that the actual oiling of it did make a difference. And, uh, and it's all probably mentally, but mentally if you know that everything is running smoothly and well oiled, you might even pay, play better and put your mind at ease. Other than that, thanks for watching. Um, I do suggest you have a look at these pedals if you're in that price range. And um, probably maybe 360, 370 US dollars, 550 to 600 Australian dollars. Um, I mean, if, when it boils down to it, if, if, if they do seem to if I want to spend money on them, I can go and replace all the bearings with the top end bearings, ninja bearings, whatever you want to call them. Would it make a big difference? Maybe, maybe it would. I wouldn't spend the extra money at present. Um, they said I've only had them a few weeks, maybe a month. Uh, and uh, it's swapping back and forth with my other pedals. I don't think I'll actually get rid of them. I'll be keeping them. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching.